I'm starting to feel this strange chill. Well, it's obviously must be from hunger. What time is it now? I sat up much slower than usual, then headed straight to the lounge. Hmm. 6.30 a.m. It's a miracle. I was able to wake up. So, the killing is going to happen today or tomorrow because I think the human body only has four days without food and you're fucked. As I recall, it's bad if we don't gather uh, at the Grape Tower, uh, Grape Tower by 7. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess I should go for now. Well, then let's go. Just get the fuck out of here. Where's Grape Tower? I'm on the second floor. That's where I'm at. I'm mad confused. I was so confused. Oh, fuck. Come on. There we go. To Grape Tower we go. Everyone who gathered here had pale, pale faces. Man, I'm tired. I'm seriously so tired. Stop complaining. You're bringing me down. But I'm exhausted. Not only we're not only we cannot eat food, but we're being forced to come here early in the morning. This isn't about just you. We're all getting screwed here. But we're getting screwed. But we're getting screwed the most. Obviously, we're more tired than everyone else is. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, we had to take the contact elevator to get here from Strawberry House. So we had to walk all the way from Strawberry Hall to the elevator and then walk all the way over here. The longer you walk, the more calories you burn, so obviously we're more tired than you guys. Stop whining. Hey. Uh, you're fine. Fine. You don't have to worry about getting hungry since you're a robot. <laughs> I'm in a similar situation. I left my charger inside my cottage. What's this? Man, you guys are already starting to brag about how unhealthy you are. I am losing my voice as I play this fucking game. Anyways, <laughs> you got a lot more nerve coming here. Now, we all have gathered here so early in the morning. What do you intend to make us do this time? No, no. I just want everyone to be healthy again. Healthy? Hey, hey. You're losing your job because you're burning rubber down the unhealthy highway, right? I'm offering this service so that you all feel healthy again. So, from this day forward, I'd like you to make Monokuma Tai Chi part of your daily routine every morning. Monokuma Tai Chi. All right, start the music. Oh, we're all too fucking tired to do that. Make optimal use of Earth's gravity and release yourself from the tension of your conscious self. Three, two. Control your breathing slowly and softly. Move as if you're drawing a circle. Ha! Two! Yeah! Naturally, just as you are, relax your body and mind. This is clearly affecting my hunger. Why exactly do we have to do this? Don't dawdle! Phew! I sure worked up a good sweat. Staying healthy is... It definitely is super important. Oh, fuck off. We did a bunch of pointless exercise, thank you, and now we're hungrier than ever. I can't move. You guys. Throat is good health and it's not an easy one. It might be painful, but we'll do this again tomorrow. Unless something big happens, I won't allow you tar I won't allow tardiness or absence. Make sure you remember that. That is. You intend to keep making us do this? Guys, I don't think I'm gonna last till tomorrow. Enough already. How much longer is going to last? Didn't he say until the killing starts? It seems plausible for those words to finally start to affect us. If this persist, oh, fuck. If this persist, what the fuck is that word? Persist? If this persists any longer, it wouldn't surprise me if something really did happen. I don't want to die in a place like this. I'm gonna die in a place like this. I might as well. What are you saying? Calm down. Shut up! Shut up! I can't fucking calm down. Damn it. There's no food. There's no way to escape. If this goes on, everybody's going to starve to death. Wait, are you telling me to just wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. Huh? Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? Huh? I get it. You're just saying that because you're the traitor. What? You're planning on making us all weak so you can kill us all. What are you saying? 
Fess up. You've been secretly getting food from your future foundation buddies, haven't you? I swear, you better... Stop! Huh? So... Making a scene is just gonna make us hungrier. So let's just calm down for a bit. <laughs> You're right, even if you guys fight, our situation isn't gonna change. Years, you cannot... Wait to die from impending starvation or wait for someone to kill someone before before that happens. At any rate, it's a rather difficult situation. Which is which is the true hope. I just follow that everyone else decide wait what? I'll just follow what everyone else decide. If you're gonna choose you should hurry. The longer we keep waiting the long the closer we get to death. The conversation ended there. It seems nobody had the energy to keep talking or arguing. So we silently left Great Tower. I'm just standing, but I feel dizzy. My sense of balance is off, and I think I'm going to rock the boat or something. Uh, it doesn't mean I should just stay put. If I just leave this matter alone, something bad might happen. It's not like I'm worried, but I should go see how everyone else is doing. Cool. Guess we'll go check on everyone else. Can I hang out with Cheeky, please? At least, come on. Wrong button. My bad. She's in her room. So. Uh, this one's her room. Knock, knock. Hey, kiddo. What's up? Ah. Uh. Well, I guess I can't hang out with her. In no way Kazuichi wants to hang out with anyone. Uh, I, I really don't want to hang out with anyone else, but I... I guess the time has come to hang out with, uh... What the fuck your face is? God damn it, Komaeda. Where is he? I don't want to rush you into making a decision, but I don't think we really have much time left. Shut up. Someone like me? There's no need for you to hear my thoughts. Your decisions are what fill me with hope. I spent time with Nagito today talking about various things. I guess Nagito and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give him a present? Sure. What would you like to give him? A knife? <laughs> What would you like to give him? A fucking knife? Here. Take it. You're giving me this? What should I do? Should I start liking you even more? Hmm. Okay, you're getting pretty weird. There should still be more time for me to move around freely, but what should I do? There. Food, 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 food. Hey, I wanna hang out? Food, 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 food. I spent time today trying to cheer her up. Ah, uh, here you go. Here's some more bread. <laughs> as long as I got one of these, I'll be good. Go for ten days. You look pretty bummed. Are you even eating? Um, Hank. My name's Hajime. You only got the H right. More importantly, why are you so full of energy? Isn't it obvious? There's yummy food, soft blankets, more room doesn't leak. <laughs> Man, I'm doing all this shit out of order. Hey, yeah, I'm so full of... You know, can't you see all the yummy food and the crappy room that I'm living in? Man, my room doesn't leak when it rains. This place is way better than when I grew up. Seriously, even in this kind of situation? Uh, you know how it is? It's not that strange to find a dead body at the dumps in the morning. Where are you from? A trashy place where crappy people are all sw all swept together. Stuff like this happens all the time. How can you say that? No big deal. What kind of environment was she raised in? Anyways, since we never had any money, I did whatever I could to earn cash. I even sold I even sold my used panties to the no uh, fucking to the noisy pig who kept oinking panties panties. By the way, I was able to legally work part time. I didn't have to run anymore. Uh, so when did you mention parkour before? You were talking about that? 
but that probably just led to the foundation for being a gymnast. What kind of part-time did you do? I bet you probably did stuff like manual labor. Uh, well, I did a lot of things. For some reason, my mom's boyfriend's always pushed me into doing weird jobs. Huh? Like At first, one of them told me all I needed to do was serve food. But I never expected he'd tell me to do it like that. I'm pretty sure Connie's talking about being a waitress, but... Kinda waitress. When... Cosplay? Probably cosplay. Did he make you cosplay? Cosplay? Is that tasty? <sighs> Roller skater? Really? See. Ah, that's fun. Sounds like fun. Man, uh... Really? What? Huh? What happened? Uh, well, uh... Well, anyways, I didn't know what to do. I mean, he told me to do it without my panties, you know? It doesn't make sense, right? There's no way I could do something like that. Of course! <laughs> right. That would definitely make your stomach cold. Well, that's not the issue here. You. What? Men are annoying. Talking to you made me hungry again for some reason. Alright. Guess it's time for me to have my fourth meal. What kind of pasta she have? Time for you to have your fourth meal in this place with no food. As I hand her food. Anyways, I probably went Connie and decided to leave the area for now. It's no use. I think I've reached my limit. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, hungry. If this keeps going, it's coming, I'll die. What am I thinking? No, if I stay locked up in a place like this any longer, I'll seriously going to go crazy. Exit. I need to find an exit. Where is it? Where is it? Damn it, where the fuck is the exit? The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those with a life-threatening game that occurs in the room will be able to reach the octagon in the fable holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Until then, you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living. You should challenge the final dead room. That's it. There's still a place. Nobody has gone inside there yet. A life-threatening game is just another one of Monokuma's lies. It's possible that the exit is on the other side of the door. That's right. It's definitely it. Then I should go. I should go to the final dead room. I have barely any energy left. I can't even run decently. Well, Tom, Tom, the little final dead room. What if the ultimate weapon was food? And he's like, now you have enough energy to fuck someone up. Oh, wait, I gotta walk there? I gotta walk there. I have to manually walk there. Oh, I'm so slow. Even my run button is fucking... Oh, god damn it. Oh, Hajime, you're so fucking slow. Hi, Kane. Bye, Kane. Uh, can't even run decently. I'm dying. You can't stop me. As I wobbled and tripped over my own feet, I couldn't help placing both hands on the wall to brace myself. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to the octagonal place, right? Octagonal? Octagon place. That's where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out. With this, I can finally get out. You can't do that. Because it's bad. You shouldn't go in there. You wouldn't find what you're looking for. It's not true, Chiaki. The exit's gonna be in there. There is no exit. All there is is a life-threatening game. Even if you clear it, you only obtain the weapon that Monokuma prepared. Do you want the weapon? What are you planning to do once you obtain it? Do you need it? Oh. You have this intense, worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. It looks like I made the right choice. Let's go back, Hajime. Okay? Sorry, Chiaki. Chiaki and I went back to the grape house together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. We're on the verge of starving to death, and there's no way to escape. Is it really okay to just lay here and take it, or...? This morning, I couldn't help feel, feel angry. That I said what I made... Wait, what? That I said what I said in front of everyone, but... 
I don't really think that it's okay if we end up starving to death. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then all of a sudden, I began to feel faint and lost consciousness. Kablam! Hmm? How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But if I didn't feel the ground move, maybe I'm just confused. And as soon as I mumbled that, I feel an exhaustion that filled me with the ambivalence towards everything beginning to overpower my body. Beginning? Did I really just say that? Began. And once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. Emergency! Emergency! I had been I had been gaming all night until the wee hours of the morning until I decided to go to the com <sighs> fuck convenience store. There I saw some guy with good looks, fancy clothes, nice shoes, and a shiny silver car. Shiny silver? Uh, shiny expensive car. And there's no way a guy like that actually exists. He really lives in a rundown apartment and all he does is uh, has his prize because he doesn't have to stable job or money. He wants to show off so much that he's forcing himself to do that. From morning until noon he carries around boxes and furniture for his moving job. And at night he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. But even with that, he still doesn't have enough money, so he sponges off his parents back home. As the fantasy played in my mind in front of the convenience store, I started to feel bad about myself. My body won't move. This has never happened to me before. I'm awake, but my body feels so heavy I can't move. Also, it's really cold. Fiercely cold, as if the core of my body is getting numb. But, I need to go to Great Tower. If I don't go to Monokuma's Tai Chi, everyone will suffer. Somehow I managed to muster what little strength I had left and crawled out of bed. What time is it? Though I felt incredibly weak from hunger, I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. It's already been five minutes till 7 a.m. I really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity, but if I ignore Monokuma's rules, everyone will get in trouble, not just me. And I don't even have the energy to complain. Let's go, Great Tower. I got five minutes. Can I fast travel? Yeah, okay. Wait, no, I can't. I can't fast travel. Jesus. Ah, oh, Hajime, good morning. Sonya, you seem energetic. <laughs> What's so funny? Amazing. My goodness, Hajime. When did your face become Mont Bal- What? Mont Buck all of a sudden. What is that, like French for fucking white? <sighs> she's not just energetic, she's extremely dangerous. Just the corner is fine, so maybe I'll take a bite out of you. What is with everyone trying to bite Hajime? What the fuck? You get a stomach ache. No. Oh my, now it's an adorable shortcake. I'm not a shortcake, I'm cheeky. Cheeky, you too? Are you about to head over to the Grape Tower? It's almost time. Come on, if you're too slow, we'll be late. Yeah, you're right. If I'm too slow with my slowness. Ugh. I should just obey and head over to Grape Tower. If I ignore Monokuma's rules, I'll just cause trouble for the others. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, we are in Grape Tower. My bad. I'm not. We're in the Grape Building. I thought. For some reason, I thought we were in the strawberry, uh, strawberry place. Although, I'm surrounded by nothing but green shit. Then I'll press the button. When I press the button, the door in front of me instantly opened. And then there was a dead body. Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't tell me. It was very sudden. Uh, that's right. It was always sudden. The door to the spare always opens suddenly. Oh. 
on the other side of that door, I saw the remains of our friend.